please take a moment to increase the brightness on your device for optimal viewing. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sketchy Friendler, where every day I tell you a story and draw a picture to go along with it. Today I'm going to tell you about the time I got attacked in the ocean. Okay, before we get going, real quick, uh, yes, I'm drawing in blue pencil, but if you bear with me, I do get into drawing with regular pencil. I just need to get my line work a little bit more solid. Uh, second, if you cannot see, crank the brightness up on your viewing device all the way up. And third, um, if you are on your phone and the image is too small, then be sure that you tilt your phone horizontal so that it fills up the entire screen. And with that, let's do this. Okay, so let me elaborate. When I was about 12 years old, I think I um, went with my parents to Hawaii. And at one point, we took a catamaran. This is on the big island um, to a place called Captain Cook, which is the infamous, infamous spot where... Um, the uh, natives got sick of Captain Cook and his nonsense, and they um, they got him. They they attacked him, hacked him up, and threw him into the ocean. And this is where I went um, snorkeling. So um, one of the things that we do when we went snorkeling, especially on these ones that are more of excursions, not just like off the the shore. Um, I don't know if they still do this, but um, at that point we um, would bring food to feed the fish. So that could be anything like frozen peas to bread, um, put in a Ziploc baggie, and then you um, feed the fish. So that's what we did. We brought... Um, I think we brought frozen peas with us on this occasion. So it was my dad, my stepmom, and one of my uh, childhood friends we invited along. And it is, it's amazing if you go out there. Um, I'm sure some of you have gone, but it's, uh, it's a very... The water is just crystal clear, and um, that time it was full of fish. I don't know what the situation is like now. I haven't been in probably 40 years or more. <laughs> um, and we, uh, you know, you can you can swim around. They they let you and the boat pulls up off uh, into this like this little cove, and um, tons of just fish all over the place, and water's calm, and um, just get float around the surface and you can dive down. And I tell you, you take pictures or you've seen pictures or even footage of being underwater. Nothing beats the real thing. I mean, the colors are so much more vibrant. You can see everything. It's amazing. Uh, I don't know about if I'd ever do scuba diving. Sorry, Sharon. <laughs> but I definitely recommend snorkeling. That's definitely something that everyone should try if they get the opportunity. Um, and you can do that. You don't have to go on a catamaran to do it. You can just do it like just go out to a beach and do it if you want. But it's always nice when you do it a, a, a place where there's the water's clear and you can see all the fish. I mean, that that's just you can't beat it. Um, so um, on this occasion, I um brought some food my uh parents packed up packed up some frozen veggies I, I was reminded of this because i just made some frozen veggie heated up some frozen veggies for my daughter this morning so that that's why i thought about this I was thinking what what could i what could i draw today 
and then that this came into my mind because I had just worked with that with the <laughs> frozen veggies. So, anyways, I, I bring them out and um, I ended up going to the bottom because my dad said, "You know what you do? You go down to the bottom with your little bag of food for the fish, and you just sort of let let the food just come up." pop out of them and those, all the fish will swirl, swirl around you. So I did that. I went to the, swim down to the bottom, over to the bottom. It wasn't that deep. Enough where I would say it was at least eight to 10 feet down maybe. And um, I opened up this bag of, baggie of fish, of, of food for the fish. It was a uh, peas, I think, and carrots. And I like got swarmed just literally like a school of, of fish just parrot fish surrounded me and just it was a feeding frenzy and if you know anything about feeding frenzies it's just complete chaos and not you can't tell what's going on. the fish can't tell what's going on and <clears throat> they started attacking me like they couldn't tell the difference between my fingers and the food and you know a parrot fish eat right they they eat coral so they've got these beaks that's why they're called parrot fish beaks are these little like teeth on the like jagged little coral chippers right and they're biting me all over my hands I'm screaming underwater with this, <laughs> with this snorkel on. I'm getting, it's like I'm being attacked by a bunch of piranha. I mean, it's like there's, I mean, they, they were biting, they were cutting up my hands. Like it was really, it was traumatic. You know, I did not expect that. You know, you don't expect, nobody, nobody told me, nobody warned me that this might be, might happen. And, you know, they didn't know what they were doing. They were just, you know, hey, there's some real good food, guys. Come on, let's get it. And then I was just completely terrorized. I think it took me a few seconds to, like, I was, like, swinging and punching at them and didn't really do anything to them. But um, it was definitely not not the fun experience that I had hoped that it would be. <laughs> so, yeah, it was um, not fun. Um, my hands were all bleeding, and thankfully there were no sharks around because uh, definitely can they smell like one part per billion or some crazy thing of blood in the water? That was not fun. Um, yeah, they were they were going to town on my fingers. It was uh, pretty scary. When I got out of the water, my hands were definitely all raked up. You could see with the little teeth, jagged teeth, scraped into my fingers. Um, my 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 dad thought it was the funniest thing. I failed to see the humor in it. I mean, I think it's pretty silly now, but, you know, when you're a little kid, take these things very seriously. Um, so that was uh, definitely my first and only time, thankfully, knock on wood, that I was ever attacked by anything in the water. <laughs> um, I mean, other than that, once I got rid of the... Um, the food I was they left me alone because I was no longer interesting to them they went back to their regular feeding schedule um, but um, gotta warn anybody be careful those pair of fish man they will they will cut you <laughs> Um, has anybody ever gotten attacked by fish before? Hopefully, 
nothing too serious or scary. But, you know, wild animals are wild animals. And, and as I've come to learn, working from dogs, doesn't matter what size the dog is or any animal, you must always respect the teeth. They got teeth, they can do damage. So respect those teeth. That's, that's my lesson for you guys today. Dealing with any animals, be they domesticated or otherwise. If you don't want to uh, get hurt, then give those teeth the respect they deserve. And you should be okay. And, you know, wild animals are, you know, they're even less predictable. You don't know what they're going to do because they're not used to dealing with people and people aren't used to dealing with them. So you kind of don't really know what the protocol is, right? So they were just doing what they thought they needed to be doing. And I was the one who was putting myself out there and getting in the way of their daily routine. So that's the other thing get what you get when you start trying to feed wild animals you if you habituate them they become not scared of you and then maybe they get a little demanding and um, that's humans fault for messing with nature but um, I don't think I've ever been attacked by anything as pretty as a parrotfish you want to look for silver linings they're gorgeous the colors on these things are unbelievable it doesn't even look natural like the iridescence and the bright colors of these creatures have um, they're um, just gorgeous animals and I hope they're still as plentiful as they were when I was a kid. You know, I, I know there's been issues with pollution, but I don't know how that's affected the schools of fish that are in Hawaii. That's one of the amazing things you can do when you're there. You know, the last few times I haven't gone snorkeling. I should, next time I go, I should think about doing that. We go to so many beaches, but we just, you know, sunbathe or just kind of hang out, eat lunch by the water, which is relaxing. But if you're on, on Hawaii, you should definitely be checking out what's going on underwater, too. But the rest of the trip was really fun because we, um, you know, you, you see like schools of flying fish jumping out of the water. You see dolphins jumping up out of the water. A lot of cool things, a lot of real pretty, amazing things you see out there in the ocean. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, a story about... One of my most traumatic experiences in the ocean. But uh, just a reminder, I do this Monday through Friday. On Saturday, we post up a poll where you choose which of the drawings, uh, which you want to see me finish up on Sunday. And I do that on a live on Facebook and YouTube. I uh, ink and color up the drawing and uh, hang out. My wife and I hang out with you guys and... Um, you finish up the drawing you love. Um, I'm also on TikTok where I do different short form videos uh, similar to this, but uh, just the two and a half minutes or so long. And I go all the way up through the inking process. It's a time lapse uh, drawing. And then on Instagram, I post the picture, completed picture of the previous day. So you can kind of check out what I did. And then if you want to look at it, you can, you can then go on to YouTube or Facebook 
And that's pretty much it. Um, I also have um, merch up on the AMC Princess Anna dot com webpage under the shop tab it's the sketchy friendler um uh collection so if you're interested in t-shirts or tumblers mugs digital images check it out over there and um i will see you soon again i always appreciate your company i love hearing what you guys have to say and I love the compliments. I eat them up. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.